fire, an act of chemical combustion that releases heat and light. It can help us achieve greatness or become our worst enemy. We owe a great debt of gratitude to those who first kindled a flame, and we must look back at those pioneers who were the first to feel its power. When you talk about what makes us human, you're talking about one thing, and one thing only, the ability to control fire. There's only a hundred or so photos from this time period that we've actually found. And what they show is that before fire, life was decidedly more challenging in many ways. Early man needed fire. That's where Ugg comes in. We analyzed these pictures and we found out that Ugg was an average, perhaps a below average uh, caveman. He was really struggling. You can tell it from, from the pictures. We came to the conclusion that Ark was cognitively challenged. But for all of Ugg's shortcomings, he was about to make the single most important discovery of his time. One day, Ugg was enjoying some leisure time in the cave, throwing rocks at the wall. Then all of a sudden, there was a spark. And that spark landed on some dry brush at the bottom of the wall. Ugg was scared. He had never seen this, this thing, but it grew and it grew and it grew. Ugg had discovered fire. All of a sudden, everyone wanted a piece of what Ugg had. If you wanted a cooked meal, if you wanted protection from predators, if you wanted to stay warm at night, you needed Ugg. This was before cave people understood how to start fire for themselves. They saw Ugg's ability to start fire as something of the world. It was Ugg's moment and he reaped the benefits. For as important as Ugg is in this story, you have to remember, at this point, fire was changing things for everyone. There's no more chewing of meat for a long period of time. They were able to keep warm at night. Sometimes they were too warm. With fire came light, and with light came a whole new world of possibility. You had, for the very first time in human history, small groups of early humans protecting themselves from predators. Around this time is when we start seeing primitive weaponry. They could eat when they wanted because they could cook when they wanted. So instead of just having one meal whenever it was available, people were having two, three, even four meals a day. Because these people knew they could make a fire and cook and stay warm wherever they went, they felt more confident leaving the cave and traveling great distances. For the first time, people could migrate long distances. This is a period of time in human history where you start to see more and more sophisticated methods of communication. You've got mail. This is where people begin telling folk tales and stories and sharing ideas. While this period brought about so many advancements for so many cave people, for the caveman who made it all possible, fame didn't last long. This marked the beginning of Ugg's downfall. It didn't take long for people around Ugg to start fires of their own. Ugg's refusal to embrace change ultimately led to his demise. He was attached to this image of Mr. Fire. As cave people around Ugg began to change how fire was used, Ugg felt less and less relevant. But whether he liked it or not, people were starting fires in different ways. It was at this point when one of his lifelong cave friends, Bick, created a fire starting device that became incredibly popular, which of course was the beginning of the Bick Lighter Company. Only a handful of years after Ugg discovered fire, he passed away. He died uncommonly young, 
even for a caveman. He was seven years old. The story of fire and its origins is important because it tells us who we are, where we come from, where we're going, where you're going, where me go from, where you from me, you, me, come, go. Where is fire headed? In the future, fire will not be a process of chemical combustion that produces heat and light. Fire will be a series of ones and zeros, Nothing more than a concept existing within a simulation of reality created by sentient machines. Kind of like the Matrix. <laughs>